Hey guys, Steve here. If you saw my last video, I showed you how you can wirelessly stream live footage from your GoPro Hero 7 or 8 directly to your computer, and then be able to use that footage either playing it in VLC or using it in OBS. Today, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do the exact same thing with a DJI drone. So to do this project, we're going to be using free open source software running on our computer along with the DJI Go 4 app that is used to control our drones. Built into the DJI Go 4 app has the option to stream to an RTMP server as well as a couple other services. But we are going to be using the RTMP option. The software that we're going to be using is Mona Server. It is free open source software. And what it does is creates a RTMP server running on our computer. That will allow us to use our phone to connect to the server running on our computer over our home network. So the great thing about using Mona Server is one, that it's free, two, the software size is only about five megabytes, and three, there is no software to actually install. There is an exe file that you double click and open and it's running and you're good to go. So there's two available downloads for Mona Server. There's a 32-bit and a 64-bit. Now the one you download will depend on the type of computer that you have. Most newer computers are 64-bit, so that is the one that you'll probably want to download. So you're going to download the zip file, unzip it, and double-click the monaserver.exe file. That is it for that part of the project. So in this video, I'm going to be using my DJI Spark for this project, but any drone that will work with the DJI Go 4 app should work. So I borrowed my buddy's DJI Mavic Mini just to see if this project would work with the DJI Fly app. The DJI Fly app is the app that is used to control this specific drone. But unfortunately, as of today, the RTMP option is not built in to the DJI Fly app. But maybe in the future, that option will be added as more drones are added to the DJI Fly app. So for this project, you won't need any sort of capture card in order to capture the video. But the one thing you will need is an OTG cable. Now the OTG cable is used to connect your phone to the controller of the drone. Now, a lot of people wirelessly connect their phone to their controller in order to control the drone. But in order to make this project work, we need to use the OTG cable. That way we can free up the Wi-Fi on our phone. That way our phone can connect to the Wi-Fi in our house. Now your phone will need to be connected to the same wireless network inside your home that your computer is connected to. That way they can communicate together. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna connect our phone to the controller using the OTG cable. Now, if you've never used an OTG cable before, you'll probably get a prompt on your screen that may show that this device is not supported. Just go ahead and get, hit dismiss and don't worry about it. It will still work. Now we're gonna go into the settings of the phone and we're gonna make sure that the Wi-Fi is not connecting to the Wi-Fi of the controller. We wanna make sure that we connect to the same wireless network that our computer is connected to. Once that's done, we can go ahead and we can open up the DJI Go 4 app. So I've gone ahead, I've turned on the drone and now I'm gonna wait for the phone to connect to the drone. Once they have connected, we're going to go up to the upper right hand corner and hit the three dots to go into the menu. And then we're going to go down to the very bottom, the other three dots, click into that, and there's going to be an option to choose uh, select live broadcast platform. Go ahead and click that. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to find the RTMP option under custom there. Next, we're going to go ahead and it's going to ask us to enter the IP address of our RTMP server. That is going to be the IP address of the computer that is running Mona Server. Now, if you do not know the IP address of your computer, go ahead and open up a command prompt by typing CMD and then type IP config, and it will show you the IP address of your computer. So going back to the phone, we're going to go ahead and we're going to type in RTMP colon slash slash the IP address of our computer colon 1935. Now colon 1935 is optional but it is recommended. Now that colon 1935 is what port RTMP services run on. So once you've gone ahead and you can go ahead and you can click next. And as long as Mona server is running our computer, we can go ahead and hit start. It will give us a countdown and then we will have a little blue icon on our screen that'll show that we are now live streaming. Now that we have our server up and running, we can go ahead and we can open up VLC on our computer. Now, VLC is a very powerful video uh, player that plays pretty much any sort of video file that you throw at it. It is free, so we'll go ahead and download that if you do not have it. Now, in VLC, we're going to go up to Media, go down to Open Network Stream, and on the third tab, it says Network. And then we're going to, once again, type in the IP address of our computer that's running Mona Server. So again, we're going to type RTMP colon slash slash the IP address 
of the computer, colon 1935. And once again, colon 1935 is optional, but it is recommended. Once that is done, you can go ahead and hit play. And after a second or two, the video file will open up showing you the live stream of the drone. So if we were to move the drone around, you would see that the video is showing up um, on our computer using VLC. Now there is a couple second delay because it's gonna take a little bit for the footage that come from the drone to the controller, to the phone, to the wireless network, to Mona server, have that process it and kick it out to VLC. So that will take a second, but the delay really isn't that bad. And the cool thing about streaming from your phone is normally the video footage that is on the drone does not have any audio with it, it's just the video. But as long as you've allowed microphone access in the DJI Go app in your settings of your phone, you will hear anything that you say in front of the controller will get live streamed out into your broadcast. Now, once you've seen that VLC works, we can now import this into OBS Studios if you wanted to live stream this. So if you're gonna open up OBS Studio, go click the plus sign, go into VLC video source. We would create a new video source and name it. You'd hit okay. Next, you would hit the plus sign down in the playlist options and you would add a path or URL. There again, you would type the RTMP address of the computer. So RTMP colon slash slash the IP address colon 1935. And then it will allow the stream to show up on OBS. Now, if you do not see an option for VLC video source in OBS, that could be because you don't have VLC installed on your computer. So go ahead, download VLC, install it, and then reboot OBS and it should show up for you. Now, once you're done broadcasting your live stream uh, from your DJI drone, you just go ahead and you can click the blue live stream option on your phone and hit finish live streaming. And that will shut down the RTMP live stream. So that's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you guys found this video interesting. If you did, be sure to give me that like button so I know that I did a good job. If you have any questions or comments about this video, be sure to leave them down below and I will try to answer them. Or if you have any tips or tricks that you wanna share with everybody else, be sure to leave that down below too and hopefully you'll help somebody else out. Now I don't know everything about Mona server, but I will try to help you out if I know the answer. And with all that being said, um, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. I will have more videos coming out in the future, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night.